Hello everyone, it's Danielle. I wanted to make this video especially for people who are interested in Say ABC. If you saw my other video, I think it's a great company and I wanted to make this video for people who are interested in applying for Say ABC and want to go ahead and do their interview. Here I'm going to share some key tips that I think you should know before going into your interview. This will help you to be more prepared and feel more confident when you go do your interview. I did my interview and there were not many information yet on what to expect or what to do in the interview. I thought I would share some information and knowledge I have with you guys about FAQs or things that you might want to know before going into your interview. So before you do your interview, to do the interview itself, you will actually have to download the Say ABC client or the application. It's an app that you download like Skype and your interview will actually take place in that portal. So you'll have to go ahead and download that and your interview will actually be similar to Skype where it's a video chat with you and your interviewer. Now your interviewer is going to be with somebody from the Say ABC headquarters office is in Beijing. It's going to be a Chinese person in China. I don't know why I teach kids in China every day, but I got really nervous at the idea of doing my interview with somebody in China and I was nervous, but don't be nervous. They're really nice. My interviewer was Amanda. She was so sweet, nice person. I've heard great things about all the interviewers. They're kind of like laid back, relaxed. I really like that vibe. I remember doing my interview process with VIP Kid. I was sweating bullets. It was a little intense. With this one, of course, you get nervous, but I felt like it was a relaxed, laid back vibe. You know, that was cool. When you get into your interview, you're gonna have the video of your interviewer, your video of you, like a Skype platform. They're probably gonna ask you some basic questions about yourself about your background, your experience. So this is where, um, for example, if you do not have a bachelor's degree, make sure you talk about your certificates like TEFL or TESOL. If you do not have a bachelor's degree, you can apply, but I highly recommend getting your teaching English certificate before going into your interview. That way you have something, you know, look, I don't have a degree, but I have this. I'll put in the links below. There's many different Groupons that you can use to get your to get your teaching certificate. I did mine on Groupon. It was about $30 and just one weekend and it's done. And it's good to go. So in your interview, you want to talk about your certificate, your teaching experience. It does not have to be formal. Like I mentioned before, it could be something like volunteer work, teaching your own children, experience in babysitting, nannying, even in college if you did some mentoring or teacher assistant, things like that, those all count. So make sure you mention that though. They won't know unless you mention it. They'll also ask you um, about your availability, if you are able to teach the peak Chinese hours, which is 5 a.m. to about 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, there are some key things about the Say ABC interview that you need to have ahead of time that you might want to make a note of. So take a moment, grab a pen and paper. I'll wait. <laughs> Go get a pen to take a note. Okay, great. Welcome back. So for your interview, you will need to have ready or I encourage you to have a puppet. I'll go into that later. This will be handy for your demo portion when you need to model. I'll get into that later, but get a puppet. I got this one on Amazon for $8. If you don't want to buy one, go borrow one from a friend or your kids, <laughs> whatever. But I highly recommend getting a puppet. You don't need to have too many props. Don't worry about that. Don't go out and go crazy and buy props. Just make sure that you have a clean background and good lighting. You do need to get a headset. You don't have to get a fancy one. You, I use the ones that came with my iPhone. They ha have a earbuds and a microphone. So you just need a basic headset, headset that has earbuds and a microphone. 
highly recommend. What happens if you don't have a headset? There's gonna be a horrible, horrible echo. There's gonna be a horrible, horrible echo. Your interviewer might not be able to hear you clearly and you won't be able to hear your interview interviewer clearly. It'll be a lot of echoing. Not a good experience. So highly recommend get yourself a headset. Also, you need to have access to a Skype account. If you don't have one, make one. If you do have one, don't be like me, who didn't know her password and her username and spent five minutes looking for it and signing in while the interviewer is looking at me like this. Why do you need a Skype? That's how they communicate with you for now um, about teaching issues or classroom scheduling, things like that. So they want to get you set up with a Skype or connect with you over Skype then and there. And the last thing they're going to ask you to do is an internet speed test, screenshot it and send it to them. So you need to make sure you have a good internet speed. The website that they use is different. I'll link it in the comments or I'll put it up here. It's t1.re. It sounds weird, but just put that in your browser and that's the website they use you can actually test your speed before you go into your interview the speed they're looking for is 20 megabytes you'll need to know how to screenshot i think on a macbook it's command shift 4 and you drag and drop a box for screenshotting on a pc i'm not sure how to screenshot you can probably just google screenshot how to screenshot but you'll need to do that so those are the key things you'll need to have ready before your interview so the questions, the Skype, all of that things are the first half of your interview. The second part of your interview is your demo. What does that mean? So your interviewer is a grown person in China, right? But for your demo, they're going to snap and they switch to being a Chinese little five-year-old with little or no knowledge of English and you have to do a demo teach or show them how you would teach a five-year-old the PowerPoint now this PowerPoint don't worry you'll have it given to you ahead of time the minute you sign up for your interview that will be some of the materials you have to download that PowerPoint now the PowerPoint is not a typical normal PowerPoint. It's interactive, meaning that it has things you can click on, songs, you can drag the students, drag different items in the PowerPoint itself, which is really cool. Don't stress out too much about that. They don't require you to have full knowledge of the platform. Once you pass your interview, you'll actually have a whole training session with a trainer with Say ABC that will show you how to manipulate and manage the online platform. But there might be some things that you have to click on like songs. I'll show you that in the next section. So now what I'm going to do is show you how I would teach the demo. Now, of course, I'm not perfect. I'm not the perfect teacher. I might have a different teaching style than others but I thought it might be helpful to show you what I would do and that could help guide you. But at the end of the day, do what works for you. Do what is your rhythm and your style and that will truly make you shine as a teacher. Try not to get too flustered when your interview changes into a five-year-old child. You might want to laugh or you might feel embarrassed, but don't feel nervous, just go with it. Teach them as if they are a child. So now let's shoot forward. I'm gonna show you the PowerPoint and I'll do my best to show you how I would teach the slide and explain step-by-step um, -step my thought process. So this is the first slide. It's the first side of the PowerPoint. You don't really have to do much. I would maybe introduce yourself very warmly to the student. You could say, hello. My name is Teacher Danny. What is your name? Wait for the student to respond. They might respond, I Tommy. They do that, say, I am Tommy. Good job. 
slide. <gasps> Rule number one. Speak in Chinese. No. Speak in English. And um, you might, you will have a line tool in the PowerPoint that you could use to draw. Um, let's see here, I don't really have it. But you would have a tool you could use to draw. <gasps> Speak in English. Rule number two. Wear headphones. Rule number three. Listen to teacher. Yay! Now you notice that as I go from slide to slide, just click. Don't say, okay, now we're going to go to the next slide. Blah, blah, blah. No. Minimalize, that's called incidental language. Just click to the next slide. So here you can't actually see it, but there would be a play button around here. You play, this is a song. So the song, you would play it once, say, now we're going to listen. Listen to the song and then we sing together. So click the song. It goes, hello, hello, how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello, hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. So that's the song playing. Now you want to teach the student line by line. So you say, if you have a little paper mic, I printed a paper mic, you could say, hello, hello, how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, good job. I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. Good job. Now you want to reward them for a good job. You clap, yay! If you actually look at the student, in the platform there's a way to give reward cards don't have to in the interview they don't expect you to ma manage the portal that well but if you can figure out how to give them reward cards power to you if not yay good job Next. what do you see circle a gesture like this can you go like this Good job! Next! Can you go like this? Good job! And do all of them. Or, you don't have to do all of them, this is just a warm-up. So, it says one minute for this slide. Watch your time. If the minute's up, move on. Hmm, what do you see? Now, actually, here below, it's a really cool thing, there would be a dice thing here. You click it and it rolls in the portal and it would say four or five or whatever the number is. So you are going to say the word as many times. So what I would do is say first, hello. Hello. Now, this is where monkey comes in. If they're just staring at you, hello. And they're doing nothing. Monkey, hello, hello, you could do a funny voice, hello, your turn, hello, hello, good job, that's what we call modeling, it's not cheating, have the monkey say what you want the student to elicit and that will give them more confidence. Then, here below, there's a mice, uh, the dice you can click on, and that will say five. You're gonna say, hello, 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 five times, your turn. Have them say it as many times as needed. Goodbye, goodbye. 
good job. Same thing, roll the dice. However many times it says, that's how many times you do it. Reward the student for a good job. High five, yay. Okay, so now this is where it's interesting. You can actually drag the student's uh, face, the box, into this actual slide. You can drag them in. So you could drag them in, boom, here. What do you see? The student will not be able to read. Say, hello. Good job. Then drag them here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good job. There will be an icon to click play. It will be a voice saying, good. Good. Roll the dice again. Have the student say, good, however many times the dice say. Yes, good job. Lots of energy. There will be an icon to click. <gasps> Great. Great. Yes. Roll the dice. Say it as many times as the dice says. Great. <gasps> click. Wonderful. Now with your body language, try to make a difference between good, great, wonderful. Roll the dice and have them say it as many times. Now, of course, if you're running short on time, you don't have to roll the dice in all of these slides. Um, look at your clock, and if you're running short on time, just skip it. Okay, so now this is the next slide. So you want to have the student say, good, circle, good. Have them repeat. Then, circle, great, 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 and try to get them to mimic you, great, and then, wonderful, have them try to mimic you, wonderful, very good, good job, Tommy, so then you can drag their face to the box, then, have them say one of the words. For example, circle, great. Have them say great. If you have time, you can do good and wonderful too. Now here, again, there will be icons to click on, these little play buttons. So you're gonna click play and have the student, they can actually drag these little characters. So if this says good, Hmm, can you show me which one is good? Hopefully they will drag the good person or draw a line or circle. If not, you might have to do it for them. So I do, you show them. We do, have them do it together, maybe circle together. And then they do, have them do it by themselves. But they're little kids, be prepared that you might have to do it. So this one is good. That one would be, I think, wonderful. I forget. Wonderful. Which one is wonderful? And great. So go through that. Again, these will be little play icons. You can click. Listen. Hmm, which picture? So they're gonna listen. I think this one might be great or hello and have them circle the correct picture. Again, there's four. If you are running short on time, oops. If you are running short on time, um, it's your judgment call. You don't have to do all four. Again, student cannot read. So you will read. <gasps> Maybe do funny voices. Hello. I'm Pinky. What's your name? Have students say, can you say hello, Pinky? Hello, Pinky. Good job. And he says, hi, I'm Bean. Sorry, my funny voices. I don't know. Maybe they're not funny. <laughs> Have students say, hello, Bean. Hello, Bean. Good 
good job. Pink says, how are you? Green says, I'm great. You don't really have to do anything with this student. You could have the student repeat after you. How are you? How are you? Good. I'm great. I'm great. Good job. Okay. So this could be a little overwhelming. You want to, this is designed for if it's four students, one, two, three, four, but it's just you and your interviewer. So drag your interviewer's box into any of these monsters and kick the ball to them. You'll be able to kick the ball to them and say, for example, how are you? Hopefully they remember, I'm great. Or ask them, what's your name? I'm Tommy. And again, if they get stuck, use your monkey puppet or any puppet to model for them and help them along. Your interviewer might um, to, to phase you out, just stare at you blankly a couple of questions. Don't stress it, they're just testing you. Use your puppet to model. Next. So Bean is actually movable. So what you want to do is move your student to one of these boxes, have Bean go knock, knock, knock. Hello, I'm Bean. How are you? Hopefully the student will say, I'm great. Hopefully. <laughs> now this is like a review, wrap up slide. Circle, any word, have them practice with TPR. <gasps> Good. <sighs> Goodbye. And again, you don't have to do all of these words. It's your judgment call, maybe three. If you can do all five, great. And now you can move the student into these boxes on the screen. And you just practice saying, bye-bye, goodbye. You want to really make sure you give them a, a nice warm goodbye. And that's it. So that's how I would do a demo part. Um, this okay. is what I would do and what worked for me. A couple of key reminders. Remember, 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 remember to speak slowly. If you need to, put this on your computer. Slow down. In your in your demo, not in your interview itself, but in your demo. If you feel like you are speaking too slow, you are uncomfortable, you're doing it right. It's a five-year-old, basically a toddler. They don't speak English. Slow it down. Uh-huh. And another one is... Smile. If your cheeks are hurting, you're doing it right. You want to really show your interviewer that you have the energy and the presence and the positive energy that is needed for a teacher. So those are some of my key tips for passing your interview and demo portion of your Say ABC interview. If you found this helpful, go ahead and comment below if you have any questions for me. I'm here to help you. My email address is below. You can feel free to reach me at my email or comment below. If you already have a referring teacher, that's fine. I'm just happy to make this video that could be helpful to you. If you do not have a referring teacher, I would love to be your coach. I love helping people and sharing tips. So feel free to apply with the link below and put in my referral name, Danielle Mills. It's in the information below. And once you do, just go ahead and shoot me an email and I'll be sure to send you some more next steps and tips on how to continue the process. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. If this is helpful for you, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'm really happy to have you here. Bye-bye.